Hi guys and welcome back to CAD TNTs. In this next video, I will show you the most important steps of rendering a CAD model using Blender 3D in order to get an awesome result like this. We will render the JBL headphone we've modeled recently and if you missed the design process of this headphone, please check the video here. We will deal with these steps with basic setup of it so that we end up with a useful product render result by exporting the design into an STL files from Onshape, importing it into Blender, adding material, adding some lightning, do some render setup before rendering. I want to let you know that I'm not expert in Blender, but I've used Blender for many years for some basic hard surface modeling. So without any further ado, let's get started. To begin with, let's set up our model as a multi-body part inside Onshape. I set up the model as a multi-body part because I need these parts to be separated individually when I import it into Blender. That will save me some time in Blender. But if you are more familiar with Blender, you can directly export the assembly into STL files and do all the setup inside Blender. After setting up the model, when you are satisfied, then let's export it into STL files. We can export it into an OBJ file too, but it is easier and more convenient to manipulate STL files with Blender, for instance, by assigning material and adding image texture or label. When you export the STL file, make sure you check export unique part as an individual file and you save time in separating the body parts individually inside Blender. That's all about the first step. Let's move on to the next step. Let's import our model into Blender 3D. Unzip the files from Onshape and import all STL files together into Blender. You can verify all parts and manipulate it after importing. You might miss something like in my case, I forgot to mirror that part. Here in this step, you should have some basic knowledge about moving, rotating, scaling an object. Be familiar with object mode, edit mode, and be familiar with some basic modifier. Next, let's add the material to all parts. Before adding the material, let's preset the scene first. Choose Cycles as a render engine and choose GPU to compute the rendering. And set the samples to 5000 in the viewport. Um, my computer can handle that sample, but you can choose the lowest sample to set up the material smoother. Anyway, we will double check everything in the last step. Split your workspace into two. Show the shader mode on the other side and the render preview on the other side in order for you to see how the material you set looks like.
I simply use the principal shader for the material because this is a very basic setup. It seems that principal shader can do everything in terms of material. The result looks nice and you can tweak the roughness, the color, the metal option and any other options. Press Shift A to add a node and if you know the node name, just search it. Link the material by pressing Ctrl L for parts that have similar material, like in my model, for example, there are a lot of linked material. You can also add a label to the model by using image texture. You can add it by using mix RGB to mix the image into a basic color. And in case of using PNG file, link the alpha into the factor in the mix color, and that's all. Now, let's continue into the lightning. I've added four area lights for the scene. My goal here is to have the product seen and looks nice. And these four lights can do the job. It's not an advanced lightning as I don't have much knowledge about it, but it's one of the most important step that you can't ignore when doing a product rendering. Also, don't forget to set up the environment. 
it will have a great impact in your final render. You can use HDR file in environment. After that, adjust the camera to the angle you want to render your model. This is very basic too. You can set up the camera setting if you have knowledge about photography like adding some type of field, choosing the lens and so on. Last step before rendering, do some render setup. So here are the most important things to look at. Your final resolution of your image output or a video. Rendering samples. This one is an important rendering setup because it will affect your end result. For product design rendering, I will recommend you to choose samples greater than 500, but everything depends on the hardware you have. For example, I choose a crazy sample for 5000 in my rendering because my GPU can handle it. The nose is optional if you choose a high samples. Choose the render engine too. I recommend you to use cycles. Choose between CPU or GPU for rendering. And it's better to use GPU if you have a powerful one to speed up the rendering time and to get some better quality. And also choose your file output, a JPEG or PNG or for video some AVI or some MP4. And finally, you are good to go to rendering. As you saw in the steps, rendering your CAD model in Blender is not really difficult. The steps are straightforward. But you have to be familiar with the software in order for you to render a very good quality image. You can take your time, explore Blender, experience yourself with all Blender features that makes your product render result awesome. I hope you find something interesting in this video. If you have any suggestion, improvement, or maybe I missed some important steps, leave it in a comment below. That's all for it and see you in the next video.